think one thing that's going to make Rolex 2013 a little harder is that Derek has not put so many breather fences in between the difficult fences. 6AB and dis difficult, and you go right up the hill to the first water jump, you turn left, sharp left, off of a curve, go up a mound, jump a very tall rail, and then down quite a steep drop. The only thing that, that the course designer has done is you don't have to land in the water, and that's a big thing to the horses. They'll they'll be a little braver if they can get their feet back on the grass before they step into the water. Then we have this duck in the middle of the pond. This, this was here last year in a slightly different relationship. It was difficult then. I think this will be more difficult. The curve through the first water is left-handed. Therefore, if there are problems at the duck, they'll probably be off to the right. When you turn to the left, the horse's shoulder gets heavy to the outside, and if the rider's going to skid past the jump, that's usually the direction that they go. Then when they land over the duck in the water, there are three very big strides or four very short strides. Either one will work. The only thing that won't work is to land and think to yourself what you ought to do next because it will be too late. You'll have a problem. You can do it in four, you can do it in three, but you have to land with a plan. If you do that, 7ABC will ride okay. After the water at 7ABC, the horse and rider come back into the infield, they jump a huge oxer, which for these horses and riders is easy, and then they turn down to the second coffin on the course. It's unusual to have two coffins in a course, and this one is different from 6AB because this time you jump a ditch. Not only do you jump a ditch, but it has water in it, and then the the corner fence, the triangle up at the top of the hill is obscured by brush. Derek DeGrazi has very cleverly placed little cedar trees in the ground exactly where the horses and riders want to go. So you're going to have to bend your line one way or another. I think that most of the riders will jump slightly on the right side of the rails, they'll go straight down to the ditch, ride straight across it, and then bend back to the left and jump the corner by the red flag. 